Before we work with the hello and dead timers, one thing I wanted to mention regarding the network mask as well, it's not enough for these to be a match, these values to be a match as the adjacency is forming. They have to stay matches or you're going to lose the adjacency. And we'll see that in this particular video because I've left the equipment alone. So right now we have the same adjacencies between routers 1, 2, and 3 that we had in the previous video. So now we're going to take a look at the hello and dead timers and what happens when they change and where you can see these values as well. And again, these are commands we will revisit when we build our network out as well. But I want you to see them now to help reinforce the theory. If your hello timers in an adjacency to be match up, by default, the dead timers will do so as well because by default, OSPF dead time is going to be four times the hello time. So on our broadcast segment, and that's what we're working with right now, an Ethernet segment, the hello time default is 10 seconds, so the dead time is 40. The serial segment that we'll be working with later, we'll see the default is 30 seconds, and the default, excuse me, the dead time default then would be 120 seconds. It takes two minutes for the adjacency to totally go down. You likely noticed in the output here of show IP OSPF, that we have this dead time value right here. We don't have a hello time field here, but we do have a dead time field. And these should, as long as things stay right, they should keep refreshing and stay between 31 and 39. Because if this drops below 30 seconds, it means you missed a hello and perhaps something is just a tad askew. Because sometimes when things change that will bring an adjacency down, it does not happen immediately. And that's a really important concept to keep in mind. It's not always going to happen at one time. And actually, you'll see exactly what we're talking about in this particular lab. Let's hop back over to three. And we've got our adjacencies over here. And of course, you know, I just got to check one more time. And there we go. So let's run show. Actually, let's go ahead and change that timer. And do not panic, we are not going to go over every single one of these OSPF commands. <laughs> we're going to go over quite a few, but one we're going to use right now is hello interval. And I want you to know that's the full command because almost everyone, including myself, always just says IP OSPF hello. It doesn't hurt you to know the full command is actually hello interval. And we do have the option of changing the dead timer without changing the hello timer. doesn't happen very often, but we can do that. So when we change the hello interval to say five seconds, that's going to change the dead time as well. So let's go ahead and do a hello here. And you got to have it at least one second. You can't disable hellos this way. And we'll go ahead and just set it to five. And, you know, nothing bad happens immediately. And if we do a debug IP OSPF hello, I think we'll see pretty quickly that that is being ran. So the, the parameters are mismatched. We can see that. And you notice that both the dead time and the hello timers are mismatched there. But why isn't our adjacency down yet? Because the dead timer hasn't quite run out yet. It's almost run out. One adjacency has about no time left to live at this point, And the other one has about five seconds more. You see now the adjacency to router two has just been lost. And through the miracle of math, I can figure it's going to be about five seconds between these two. And then we will finally see a message with neighbor 1011 down. The message may be a little late, but that adjacency is gone. And right here... Let's just take a quick look again. Received hello from 10112. Everything was fine there. There's that message. Just a little bit late there. Let me get rid of that highlighting. Then we can go back up. And you can see, again, that debug, debug IP OSPF hello. We're receiving the hellos. So again, we can't make the assumption, hey, the hellos just stopped coming. The hellos didn't stop coming. They just didn't match the values that we had just configured locally. We set the hello time to five seconds. So you, that's why you see a C5 there, configured 5. That means locally that value is 5 seconds and received value of 10. But the great thing here to note is that the dead time changed dynamically. We didn't have to do anything with that. And there you go with the configured of 20 because that is 4 times 5. That's all there is to it. And again, if you walk into the middle of a situation like this, as many of us do, if you're called into troubleshoot, it's not like you and I know exactly what happened the second we walk in. We know what happened here because we changed the hello timers. But this is a fantastic debug again, and we'll run it during our big labs as well, our huge ones, debug IP OSPF hello. So let's go ahead and let that, okay, I'm gonna leave the debug off. 
I did turn it off earlier. That is short for undebug all, by the way. I always call it the Southern Command, you all. That's how I remembered it. And all possible debugging has been turned off, so that's all gone. Oh, and I'm going to negate that just by putting the word no in front of it. And I probably brought this up. As a matter of fact, I know I brought it up a couple of times. But if you use your up and down keys to go through your history and then do a control A, your cursor will move to the front of it and you can just type a no in there. That's for those of us who hate to type. And our adjacencies are already coming back up. And that's as good as it gets. So neighbor 10112, neighbor 10111, show IP OSPF neighbor, and we're all set. But there's the proof that our hello and dead timers, again, do have to match. Unlike the network mask, there is no real work around around that. Your hello timers and your dead timers either match up or they do not. So we've got our full adjacencies back there, but the adjacencies have several different states. And it's a good idea to be familiar with these. Uh, when we come back, what I'll do is clear a process and we will see fields of information, screens of information. If you get motion sickness when a screen is scrolling, I'll tell you when to close your eyes in the next vid. And we will see some of the adjacency states, but I'll give them all to you here on the board and a little bit of a brief description of what's going on in them. And that's coming up next.